Saga over swans. More than 30 birds mauled and eaten by predators, and now a passionate effort to save the lives of the few swans that are left. Only ABC 15 Sun Uwasu in Sun City West tonight looking into why this effort is ruffling some feathers. This community loves its birds. Each swan here has a name. We are at the Pebble Beach Golf Course, and the lake you see behind me is home to Fred, one of five survivors left in the community's swan program. It's sickening. It's sickening because we created the problem by removing their ability to fly and now we refuse to do anything about the problem. The swans have had their joints clipped, a process called pinioning that limits the bird's ability to fly, basically turning them into sitting ducks. I remember them all. I've been here 19 years. It's, it's so sad. It is just so sad because these are brutally killed. They're eaten alive. After a lot of effort, concerned residents say they have found two out-of-state sanctuaries willing to take in the birds, let the remaining five live out their lives peacefully. But community leaders feel sending the birds thousands of miles away would be too traumatic for these swans. Moving them from their home to a place, a strange place in the middle of nowhere, um, where nobody can guarantee their safety. There's absolutely no way they can guarantee that. Community leaders feel it's best to leave the birds alone and let the remaining five die out naturally as they wrap up the swan program that started 30 years ago. I guess the blood is on their hands. I'm disgusted. I love Sun City West. I'm disgusted in our management and in our board. The fate of these swans will be up for discussion at the next board meeting in September. But neighbors worry it may be too late. Another one of these swans may die before that even happens. In Sun City West, Sonuwasu, ABC 15, Arizona.